We regularly update you on when new scams are coming to light. And this morning, we want to talk about job interview scams, especially when new jobs are popping up and you're interested to maybe switch fields or move up in your field. You want to know the right way to do it. This morning, we are joined by Better Business Bureau Communications Manager Logan Hickel with more information about that. And we're going to get to another topic as well. But let's start out with this. How does this job scam about job interview scams work? Good morning, thanks for having me on. So yeah, when somebody's looking to make a jump, typically a lot of people will move to another company or another business to make that jump, right? That step in their career. Well, what we're seeing out in the marketplace is a situation where an individual, they receive a message, email, social a message, maybe through social media or text. And this individual will often pose as a recruiter and they'll say that they found their resume on a job search site, right? And they want to interview them, but first they need to download a messaging app. Now through that app, they interview them with a few questions and interview is very loosely used there as a term. Um, and they provide typically really enthusiastic feedback followed up with a job offer, which includes a contract. Now in that contract, of course, they're going to ask for your name, address, date of birth, and then also banking information because they want to pay you, right? Well, this can open you up to some identity theft. And if somebody offers you a job, but you did not reach out to them first, just make sure you take that step back and take a beat and think, what are they asking from me? Do I actually want this job? Do I know who these people are? Uh, is it guaranteed of who I'm actually interacting with? And then lastly, if a company sends you money, and this happens quite often, they'll send you a check, and then they'll say that they sent you too much money, you need to send some back, or they may say you need to send it on to this third party vendor to buy items for your home office for, or for your job. That's a bad sign. Typically those checks, that initial check that they sent you is going to bounce. It's a fake check. So then that money that you send back to them or onto that vendor, you're out of that money. Logan, one other thing I want to ask you about this morning are the torch awards given out by the BBB. Uh, what are they and why are they actually not just important for the business, but for consumers as well? Yeah, so really we're doing two awards this year. There's the Torch Award for Ethics, and then there's also the Luminaire Award for Service. So the Torch Award, as you mentioned, it's an award that we give out once per year to businesses across the state. And we're looking to identify and honor some exemplary organizations out in the community that really dedicate themselves to integrity and these ethical business practices, because that's what we're all about, right? The Better Business Bureau. We also wanted to launch this year the Luminaire Award for Service. And this is an award given in partnership with Give.org. Uh, people may also know it as BBB's Wise Giving Alliance. And with this, so with the Torch Award, we're honoring businesses. Whereas with the Luminaire Award for Service, we're looking to honor an individual out in the community. And we're looking for people who really prioritize philanthropy and have made a really meaningful Im impact through their charitable initiatives. You know, some of these qualities could be compassion, volunteerism, or community leadership. Awesome. Logan Hickel with the Better Business Bureau. As always, thank you so much for joining us on the weekend mornings. We really appreciate it. Not a problem. Thanks for having me on. We'll be right back.